travel free in today's video we are going to learn about uh, job sequencing with deadlines uh, the algorithm it is one of the algorithm in uh, design and analysis of algorithm subject basically it is an application of greedy programming you already learned what is a greedy program in the previous video right we usually deal with optimization problems so here we are going to see how this job sequencing with deadlines algorithm works by using the concept of greedy programming so first uh, uh, i'll try to discuss two examples in this video if possible okay so first is a pretty simple algorithm guys actually you don't even need the second example the first example should be good okay so first you will be having some jobs or some tasks will be given to you four tasks five tasks some n number of tasks will be given to you for each and every job let's say you have j1 j2 j3 you have three jobs for each and every job you will have a profit and also you will have a, a deadline associated with each of the job that means if you complete j1 the first job how much profit you will get and what is the deadline for this first job this this information will be uh, given to you so based on these information you have to sequence them you have to order them that means you will do j1 j2 j3 or you will do j2 first then j1 and then j3 or whatever order you want to do that you have to decide depending on the profits and also depending on the deadlines okay so you have to complete the jobs in the given deadline so that you are getting the maximum profit each job will have different deadlines uh, all the jobs will not have same deadlines right each job will have different deadlines so within that deadline you'll have to complete that particular task okay so let's see uh, how it actually works we have uh, five tasks and they have their profits and there is also some deadline associated with them so the maximum time is three hours three hours why because for completing t1 you have deadline of two hours for completing T2, you have deadline of 2 hours. For completing T3, you have deadline of 1 hour. For T4 and T5, you have deadline of 3 hours. That means after 3 hours, you cannot do any of these tasks because maximum deadline is 3 hours. After, complete, after the end of 3 hours, there is no use even though if you complete the task because the deadline is already completed. You cannot access it anymore. Okay. And our initial assumption is that each and every task will take 1 hour to complete okay that means how many maximum number of hours you have here you have only three hours within three hours how many tasks you can complete you can complete only three because each task will take one hour to complete okay so now you have to decide among these five tasks which three tasks you have to pick and complete them so that the profit is maximum okay so let's see how we do that first what you will do is we have three time slots okay first hour the second hour and the third hour okay we have three time slots in these three time slots first you have to go and pick up the task which is having the highest profit so which is having the highest profit the t1 is having highest profit with 20 units right and this T1 is ready to wait for how many hours? 2 hours. It is ready to wait for 2 hours. So first, throw it in the second place. So you are doing T1 at the second place. Why? Because it is ready to wait for 2 hours, right? So you have a chance. If somebody is not ready to wait for 2 hours, you can just directly push them over here. Got it? Next. Go for the next highest profit. Which task is having the next highest profit? T2. What is the highest? What is the profit associated with it? 15 okay 15 units is a profit associated here for t1 20 right let us write that also so now t2 it is ready to wait for how many hours two hours first hour second hour but second hour is already occupied that means you can't give t2 the second hour so you can give t2 over here okay t2 will take the first hour okay next t3 T3 the profit is 10 next highest profit is for T3 only obviously the profit is 10 but it is only ready to wait for one hour only if one hour means it has to be done in the first hour itself but first hour is already occupied so you can just ignore this T3 okay you don't have any space to accommodate that so you can just ignore it next go for the next highest profit one which is the next highest profit one T4 so T4 is ready to wait for how many hours three hours 
थ्री आवर्स मीन्स फर्स्ट आवर सेकेंड आवर ऑब्वियसली कंप्लीटेड इट इज रेडी टू वेट फॉर द थर्ड आवर ऑल्सो सो यू विल राइट टी फोर ओवर हियर ओके सो वॉट इज अ प्रॉफिट असोसिएटेड फाइव सो दिस इज योर सीक्वेंस यू विल डू टी टू फर्स्ट देन यू विल डू टी वन देन यू विल डू टी फोर सो दैट यू कैन एटलीस्ट डू दीज थ्री जॉब्स इन द गिवन डेड लाइन्स एंड वॉट इज द प्रॉफिट यू विल गेट फिफ्टीन प्लस ट्वेंटी प्लस फाइव the total profit that you will get is 40 in this case okay so very very simple uh, i hope you guys understood uh, actually let me do another example also because it was a very quick right if i give another example maybe you'll understand it more better okay here we have another example problem and for this problem also let us assume that each task will take 1 hour to complete okay Each task will take one hour to complete. So maximum, how many hours of time you have? Four hours. Because whatever is the maximum deadline, that is the maximum time you have. So in this case, you have maximum time of four hours. That means you have four time slots: first hour, second hour, third hour, fourth hour. Okay. So this is your first hour, second hour, third hour, and fourth hour. Okay. So again. go ahead and identify the task which is having the highest profit first so in this case which which task is which sorry which task is having the highest profit obviously t1 t1 what is the deadline 3 that means it is ready to wait for 3 hours so directly go and put it in the third slot okay so what is the profit here 35 next what is the next um task with highest profit t2 Okay, with thirty, and it is ready to wait for how many hours? Four hours. So just go ahead and put it in the fourth hour. Okay, what is the profit here? Thirty. Next, you have T three. T three is ready to wait for how many hours? It is ready to wait for four hours. But fourth hour is already done. So come before that. Third hour. Third hour is also already done. So you have to put it in the second hour. Okay, T three here. What is the profit? Twenty five. next t4 t4 is ready to wait for how many hours 2 hours that means go for the second time slot here we have the second time stick sorry second time slot so second is already occupied so you the only choice you have for t4 is this one okay what is the profit 20 remaining 3 you can just ignore them remaining 3 you can't do them of 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 course it is okay if you are leaving them because they are having less profits with these you are getting the maximum profits within the given time you have a time constraint here right if you are not having time constraint it's fine but since you are having time constraint you can just leave some jobs it's it's fine so what is the total profit now 20 plus 25 plus 35 plus 30 what is the total profit 145 Seventy-five, eighty, one hundred and ten. One hundred and ten units is the total profit. Okay. So, what is the sequence here? You got what is the job sequence here? You got T four, T three, T one, T two is the sequence that you got. Okay. Got it. So, this is how you do the uh, job sequencing with deadlines problem using the greedy method. So, yeah, that's all about this video, guys. I explain you what is the concept um, and two examples. Pretty much. good enough for you to write in your exams so yeah thanks for watching the video till the end if you still have any questions do let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to uh, reply to all your comments